Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we are taking a look at Red Velvet's Fill the Rhythm. If you want to watch my full uncut reaction, check the Patreon link in the description below. As always, I read the lyrics, but I did not listen to the song quite yet, and this is looking amazing. It's literally a painting. Like, I say things look like paintings, but this is literally a painting. Like, what in the world? This looks so beautiful. Wow. Wow. I really like this set. It's like a snowy set, obviously. There's ice and snow. It reminds me of like Frozen or like a play or something, like this circular swishy thing. We have these moons or lights or whatever, the white orbs in the background. That looks amazing. And this effect that's in the beginning of this video looks so good. I'm really curious to how they did that actually. This truly is something that I have never seen before. Like, some of you have said that this was gonna be something crazy, but it really is. So we got the little bird hand movement. Ooh, got a spotlight. So this definitely looks like a play. That looks so beautiful. The crown. Oh my god! Look at that spotlight coming down on her. We get some nice lens flares going on. Wow. The lighting here is just so beautiful and she's just coming out of that flower. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. The crystal ship. This sounds very interesting. <laughs> I was not expecting it to sound like this. Wow. I feel like Red Velvet usually has amazing videos, but this is like a step up. Beautiful lighting on her, costumes, the set designs, like, wow. Wow. We got the motorized camera. That's what gives us this like nice movement. The camera goes up and tilts at the same time. You can kind of tell when it's one of the camera robots and when it's not. The movements are just a lot more precise than what a normal person can do. I feel like this is definitely a set extension. I think the set ends about here, like they built these walls and the rest of this is either one of the LED screens or it's a green screen. You can kind of see like the difference in quality between this and this back here, like behind them, it's just blurred a little bit more than I think it should be. So that's how you're able to like tell. And it looks so beautiful though. Wow, I like the lighting. I think that's what is getting me. It's like dramatic lighting. Oh, beautiful. Everything is so dark. I think that's what I really like about it. Ooh. There's like this teardrop or something coming down and hitting the ground in front of her. The dust or glitter or whatever it is that it makes looks so good. All of this just looks so good. Wow. Oh, she caught an orb. Yes. The camera movements just complement their choreography so well. What is going on? Oh, there's another one of these orbs and it's casting light onto her face. I really appreciate it when cinematographers sculpt the light so well. It's only hitting this small portion of her face. It looks so beautiful. This nice spotlight. That looked really good through the eyes, I think. Hold on. So she fell through the ice. I don't know what this is yet. We saw it before when that orb hit the ground. We could see this red stuff underneath the ice. So that's obviously what this is. She's falling through the water. It looks beautiful. The lighting is all nice and soft. Whoa. The attention to detail. It's really the little things that get me. When this red orb passes by the camera, it actually leaves light on her face. So you can see the light actually hitting her face. That's how visual effects look realistic in videos. When the actors are able to interact with the thing they're supposed to be interacting with. I love the colors. Transitions, the birds, the flowers, wow. Her eyes look amazing. Oh, the greenery. Oh, it's a strawberry. That's a really cool shot too. Shots 
in the water, like when you're supposed to be like floating in the water, are always really interesting. Sometimes you can kind of get away with it by, I don't know, sitting on a green box and then they get the box away and then it looks like you're kind of floating. Sometimes they do it with wires. In this case, she's definitely on a wire. The only thing that I wish they had is the hair. The hair would have like sold this 110%. If you look at movies like Aquaman and the hair while they're in Atlantis, it looks so good. That would have sold this 100%. The lighting is still beautiful. So the birds are what, delivering the orbs or something? Ooh. I like how simple that set looks. Got the red light going on. Her eyes look amazing. Oh my. Wow. So this is definitely a set extension. This is the exact same set and it doesn't have the stuff in the background, so. They were able to take both of these sets and make them look drastically different, just with lighting and then obviously not adding the rest of the set. But this darker lighting makes the ground look a whole lot better. And then there's that contrast between like the red purples to the blue. Wow, I'm really liking this video. I wish they had more of the painting look throughout the rest of the video. What, what is that? It's like this god that likes strawberries or something. That looks really cool. That's all CGI. Would have been interesting if they had someone in makeup doing this, but the proportions are just not there. And then her eyes, look at her eye. It's always the eyes. The eyes are the gateway to your soul. If your eyes are lit up really good, the scene is gonna look amazing. They must've been using like a box diffuser or something because we see this line in her eyes. The lighting is nice and even. That was a really good shot. Oh, beautiful. Why are the wings in front of her? Why is this video surrounded by strawberries? Those ones, are those strawberries? <laughs> the characters, the costumes. Like I think we saw some of these characters in the beginning while they were dancing. Nothing is in focus. We're shooting through like this crack or something. That's the water. We we're shooting through the water. Oh. Yes, there it is. Oh my God, beautiful. Wow, wow. The way that they're like appearing. It's like they're literally being drawn into the scene. There's so much compositing and whatnot. Like you have to take her here and here and here and put them together. Oh my God. That is such a cool effect. It's like stop motion too or something. Wow. Yeah, so we did see those figures. Okay, well, is that, is this inside the arm of the god person that likes strawberries? It's the same skin tone. Are they inside of that person? We're seeing this circle and we saw the circles in the beginning. So maybe those two things relate. So his organs are just yellow. <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. What is that? Wow, I'm speechless. That was unlike any music video that I've ever watched before. The painting effect is what really like got me. <laughs> I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Caroline, Jemmy, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, Sabrina, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And all right, all right.